this is a cable node all right the cable node supplies the cable phone and internet services to the customers okay you see each leg is coming out of the node we call them runs so you got a leg right here leg right here leg right here leg right here we got four legs coming out the node the middle leg is usually for the power supply which would be this leg right here and the power supply earlier in the video we saw the node and the power supply next to each other but sometimes the power supply is spaced out from the node as you see the power supply right there then we come back to the node all right so each leg on each leg you have amplifiers or an amplifier depending on how long the run is for that leg so each leg has amplifiers to keep the signal boosted all right inside the node we have the umbilical cord which is connected to the lid board this green board is the lid board, which regulates the forward and the return signal. Okay, this is the forward receiver with the fiber. This is the return transmitter fiber. So we have the forward fiber and the return fiber. These boxes right here are called the GLCs. They also regulate the return for each leg. So this GLC is for this leg. This GLC is the return for this leg. This GLC is the return for this leg. This GLC is the return for this leg. Need to return for internet and phone services. Okay, somebody is in his node. They didn't even tighten up the node. Be serious. Somebody put the node in, didn't even tighten it up. Okay. As I'm tightening it up, let me explain more parts of the node. This, these are the diplex filters for each leg also. Each leg has diplex filters that also regulate the return and the forward and earlier we talked about the pads you also need pads in the node to adjust the signal this is the forward EQ forward pad this is the return pad without this pad customers will have video but this will interrupt the phone and the internet services